Good morning, young people. Um, it's Ms. Stover today, and today we're going to be starting our mole concept lectures. Um, we're going to be starting with uh, the concept of counting atoms, and you kind of already know how to do this. So counting atoms is pretty simple. We have a formula, NH43PO4. Well, what does all that mean? We know that the coefficients tell us the number of atoms of each element in the chemical formula. So the numbers talk about the number of atoms. So if we look at that and dissect it just a little bit more, there are three NH4 groups. So that means there are three times one nitrogen. So there's one nitrogen in each NH4. There are three total groups. So there are three nitrogens. There are three times four hydrogens, or 12 hydrogens, because there are four hydrogens in each group. And then there's only one PO4 group. So that means that there's only one times one phosphorus, or one phosphorus atom. And there's one times four oxygens, because there's four oxygens in a PO4 group. Okay? And I should change that 4 to a subscript. So what would the total be now? So 3 plus 12 plus 1 plus 4, that gives us a total of 20 atoms. So we have 20 atoms in that particular compound of NH43PO4, ammonium phosphate. So how do we practice? Well, if we've got Al2SO43, then we have... Um, how many atoms? Well, we have two aluminums, three sulfurs, and 12 oxygens for a total of 17 atoms. How about here? NH43P. Well, again, we have a 3 here, so our 3 here tells us that we have 3 N's. 3 times 4 means 12 H's and 1 P. So we have 3 N's, 12 H's, 1 P for a total of 16 atoms. How about Fe3PO22? Well, we see three Fe, so three iron. We have two times one phosphorus, so two phosphorus, two times two oxygen, so four oxygen. So that is a total of nine atoms. Here we go, zinc, hydrogen, carbonate. We have one zinc. We have two times one hydrogens, two times one carbons, and two times three oxygens. So we have one, two, two, and six for a total of 11. Um, uh, sodium chlorate. Sodium chlorate. So we have one sodium, one chlorine, and three oxygens. Remember, there's no group numbers, so no parentheses means nothing to multiply by. So we just simply count what we see. So we have a total of five atoms. Now, how does that apply to what we're getting ready to go into? That's what you're getting ready to try to work on. So we now need to think about calculating the mass of that compound. Well, calculating the mass of the compound is pretty simple. We have some information. First of all, we see the formula of, um, of carbon dioxide is CO2. We want to know the mass of that. Well, the first thing that we need to know is that carbon from the periodic table has a mass of 12.01. Oxygen from the periodic table has a mass of 16. I think yours has 16. Just humor me here with this slide that, I see, that we see here. So that means I have one carbon at a mass of 12.0107. And I have two oxygens at a mass of 15.9994. So if I do that and multiply that, I get 44.01. That's the mass or the formula mass of carbon dioxide. Pretty simple concept. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working on in trying to figure that out. So you're going to need your periodic table because you're going to need to be able to find the masses. And you're going to need to understand how to count atoms in the chemical formula. Okay, so when we look at formula mass, to find the formula mass, you simply take the, mass, the atomic mass and multiply it by the number of atoms of that element and add all of the masses of the element together. So let's go back to our NH43PO4, ammonium phosphate. So we see nitrogen. If we look on our periodic table, nitrogen has 14.0067. Now your periodic table may have a slightly different number. I think yours is probably going to have 14.01. Um, this was from an older periodic table that I had. Okay, then we have hydrogen. There are 12 of them. And again, your periodic table is probably going to have 1.008, um, but you can see what we're doing here. Phosphorus, there is only one of them. Here's phosphorus's mass. Oxygen, there are four of them. There's oxygen's mass. So we're going to multiply each of these things first. So there we go. We multiply 3 times 14, and we get this much. We multiply 12 times this, and we get this much. 1 times this, and we get that much. And 4 times this, and we get that much. Then we add all of that together. We add all of that together, and, excuse me, we get 149.086748 AMU. Now, the number that you get will be slightly different because the numbers on your periodic table are probably only going to go to the nearest 
one hundredths place. I think hydrogen goes to the nearest one thousandths place. Um, but uh, you'll you'll get what we're talking about here no matter what. Okay, so. That's how you find the formula mass and count atoms. So that's what you're going to be practicing tonight for homework. Um, thank you very much for listening.